here is your Carl Seuss PA200. As you can see, I have two boats with 8 inch wafers already in it. And here is your monitor screen. I am going to take load wafer from cassette one, uh, wafer number 11, and I will have it put it in a probe station and bring it over to cassette two. So I clicked on it now. You can see the wafer handle arm going over to cassette one, grabbing the wafer, and now it's going to set it up into the alignment. The alignment I have set up for it is going to put the notch right at the wafer handler arm right on it because I only have, I have it at zero degrees. As you can see it's perfectly centered and now it's going to put the notch right on the, the middle of the arm. And then it's putting it in a probe station. From the probe station, it put it in a load position. Now it's going to go into the process position, which is over to the left, and then raising the chuck up. When it raises the chuck up, as you can see, I can move the wafer around, and you can see the spots indicating that it's in focus. Now, from there, now I'm going to unload it and put it in cassette two. So as you can see, I hit unload. It's moving the cassette. The wafer handle arm is going to pick it up. And put it in cassette two. Now, what I'm going to do now is make it grab it from cassette number two and bring it over to one just in case if you ever wanted to do that. And I'm coming back over to the screen again. I'm going to change this over to cassette two. And I'll have it grab 11 again. And then I'm going to have it loaded into the probe station. As you see, it's picking up the same way for it put in. Bringing it over to the aligner. The notch is right on the arm. I'm bringing it on over. And there it is, in focus. And now I'm going to put it over to cassette one and I'll even put it in the first slot so as you can see it's moving over And that is the end of the show. Thank you.